Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening walkthrough. Yeah, I'm back, and um, we're going to be heading out on our adventure. So, from the Bottle, bottle Grotto, you want to head back down to the Moblin Hideout. This is, um, we're going to be getting a heart piece now that you could have gotten before the Bottle Grotto, which could have made it a little bit easier, but um, the enemies are a little bit harder, so... I decided to do this now. Um, what you want to do from the Moblin Hideout is you want to head right a screen, down a screen, right a screen, and then down two screens as I'm doing it in the video, and that'll take you to the graveyard, which is a new um, part. And there are some new enemies along the way. These are crows. And these crows, they won't come at you unless you get close, and then you just want to attack them. They can be kind of troublesome, but um, usually Bauma will eat them before anything. Now, once you're in the graveyard, you want to head down a screen and then left a screen. And there are some new enemies on the way here. These are called guineas. These are ghost enemies that have been in most Zelda games, um, if you remember them from Link to the er, from Minish Cap. Um, and then there's also zombies in the graveyard, and these will keep respawning. They don't, they're easy to kill. They only take one hit, but they are very annoying. So what you want to do is you want to push the bottom right tombstone, go down, and then um, once you've done that, there's a tricky little move here that you want to make, and it requires you to jump diagonally after you push the block, as I did in the video there, um, to get the heart piece and then jump this is much easier later in the game when we have a couple different items um, if you perf if this jump is too hard for you so um, I will be pointing that out when we get those items but for now it it's easy to get now so we'll or it's easy enough to get now so we'll go ahead and then over here I was just um I was just playing around so um, if you're or I was just looking to see if there's anything else in the cave because but there wasn't. So now we're gonna want to make our way, or back, or yeah, backtrack our way to the Moblin Hideout. So um, if you are having trouble with the guineas, remember if you do touch a, um, if you touch a tombstone, um, another guinea will appear. And I'm just showing off the graveyard here. It's four squares, or it's a two by two little section. It's not that big, so we will need it for later in the game. Um, just so remember where it is. I mean, I'll show you how to get there too. But um, if you're having trouble with the guineas, um, they do take quite a bit of hits to defeat. Um, don't touch any gravestones, or more guineas will appear. And um, then just keep going. And also, I wanted to point out. Oh, once you get back to the Moblin Hideout, then you want to go back through the Gopanaga Swamp until you get to the start of it. Don't go back in the mysterious woods. Um. I wanted to point out though that I fix sound issues, so there won't be, there shouldn't be any desyncing except maybe in my commentary a little bit, just because I have to record it from Sound Recorder, but that's not a big deal. Um, so basically, there's nothing to say right now. We're going to be collecting rupees for um, a couple things in the game because. You want to have 200 rupees before you return to Mabe Village. As you can see, I have I already have 200 villages and or er, 200 villages, 200 um, rupees. And if you have been following along, you should have pretty close to that. But we'll be getting a big boost right here. So from this screen, instead of going down into the mysterious woods, jump up over the over the holes. And um, now that we have, or er, yeah, jump, then go in the cave and jump over the gap and get yourself 20 rupees. But then you want to go to the right and on the bottom part, sorry. And now that we have our um, bracelet, we can now lift up that the bone thing. And if you can recall back from the first chapter, we saw a heart piece and a couple other things um, that we can now acquire so we're going to be doing that we're going to be collecting stuff so that there's 70 rupees right there in that little cave and that that should help out to get you towards 200 if you still don't have 200 kill some enemies the graveyard and the zombies killing the zombies is always a good way because they're going to keep respawning so if you still need 200 rupees get there because you will need it for sure um like always a guardian acorn that's great all right so 
Once you're in the Mysterious Forest, you want to head right two screens, down one screen, and then you want to lift the stone. And under the stone, there is going to be a cavern that we couldn't have gone in here before. And, hmm, this looks a little bit familiar from Link to the Past, I think. So what we want to do is take out our magic powder, and we want to sprinkle it on the little well, and it creates this guy again. Remember him from Link to the Past? Yeah, he increased our magic by, um, he, well, yeah, he increased the amount of magic we could get. Well, yeah, he's um, pretty much going to do the same thing now. He's going to increase the total amount of magic powder you can carry to 40, I think. Or maybe it's 50. It only gave me 40. I thought it was 50, but um, it only gave me up to 40. So, But still, that's plenty. Um, that's com Yeah, that's completely plenty. So... And from there, you want to head down a screen and into the cave that we were in before. And thank you, Bow Wow, for killing that moblin. So, when you head into this cave, if you can remember it from back from chapter one, um, we want to head back to the place where we saw the piece of heart before. And then we got a piece of power. If you can remember those, double your attack. Um, so, back at this part, now we can use our new bracelet to lift up these bone skull things and get piece of heart number five. So, there's piece of heart number five. There's only 12 of them in the game, so we're almost halfway through pieces of heart. And that's, yeah, that's pretty crazy, so. Yeah, there's only 14 possible total hearts in this game. It's not that long of a game. It's not that deep of a Zelda game. I mean, it is, but it's a, it's a great Zelda game. But. All right, from the cave, we want to head left to screen and then down a screen and we want to lift the stone to get and then open the chest to get secret seashell number two and uh, the secret seashells are going to come into play a little bit later but we'll see it, it, the reward is really good for them so uh, make sure you collect these you're going to have to collect at least 20 of them there's 26 in the game so remember to collect these now um we can just return to main village and you should know how to do that by now we've been in, through the mysterious woods a couple times and um, while we're heading there, I want to point out that there are a couple other things you can do with Bow Wow. I didn't show them off. Um, I might in, I don't know, I might later by reloading my save state. But um, they, he, he'll sniff out treasure. Um, he can eat a pesky monkey down at the, um, well, down at the beach. Or he can get into a fight with Kiki, the monkey, who will be coming up um, soon. And that, um, but I just gave Bawa back, and for giving him back, you get a little kiss. That's that's pretty nice, right? Yeah, it's very nice. All right, so now you want to head up to the shop. This is the first time we've been in the shop, and this is why you want 200 rupees because you need to purchase the shovel. You need it to beat the game. So yes, you need the shovel. So buy the shovel. And we're also going to want to buy 10 bombs. If you feel like you want more than 10, go ahead. Um, one thing to point out is you can actually steal items in the shop, and I'm showing you how right there. Um, I'm not going to because there's a consequence. I'll go over the consequence. I'll even show it off later in the game. But for right now, um, I would just buy these unless you really want. Unless you're really curious, then go ahead and see what happens when you steal something. Won't end too well for you. So. Now, from the shop, we are actually going to, um, well, first we're going to return to Madame Mau Meow Meow's house, and we're going to want to head into the little shed part on the right, and in the bottom right corner, you want to dig, and there will be secret seashell number three. I don't know how, this is a, I guess you just have to be really adventure savvy to find some of these, so, you know, it's sometimes hard to think of where to dig so now we're actually going to want to go back down to tail cave and if you can recall back from chapter one lots of this is recalling from back to chapter one um that there was a little bombable wall or bombable hole back at tail cave and we are going to head to that spot but um this is the end of part a to chapter three so i just want to say see ya